What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm King Julian. Also, my first name is Norman. So, what have we been doing? Not really a whole lot. Uh, the last couple of days, I'm actually in Barstow, California. I was going to do a video with repainting one of my uh, boxcars, which was actually the K-Line we had talked about in a previous video. And it's raining here in Barstow, so can't paint. But while I was doing some other stuff, I was going through and doing some painting and modifications. <laughs> and also, excuse me, also still working on the test piece. Test piece slash display, because when it's all said and done, it will be a display. Uh, so I pulled out my old wall bash and started painting the bottom side of it. I still got to pull the trucks off. Uh, I will finish this up. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there. These are two real O scale sprung trucks. Don't know how you can see them, but they are sprung all the way through. These are not the roller bearing ones, but these aren't all metal. And these are the metal dummy. Uh, well, actually, these work. Sorry about that. I'd be lying if I told you. These are working Katie metal couplers with coupler pockets. Uh, I'm going to throw this out there that if you have a set of Atlas um, O-Scale three rail freight trucks with the knuckle coupler already on them, hit me up and if you want to make an exchange, we can. I will give you both sets of the sprung couplers or the trucks and the, coupler, the couplers whole assembly so that way it's an even trade I get what I need, you get what you need. Uh, so yeah, that's our, I think I've got two or three more sets like that. But i got a bunch of Katie Cuppers too going to be coming up that I'm going to be posting those as well. Uh, I prefer to do a barter system, you know, or make a trade. That way, no, neither party's out, other, out any money other than shipping to the post office. Now that would be very cheap. Uh, this piece right here. This has been an interesting challenge. Um, uh, and, and I'm going to be honest. It, a lot of people say it shouldn't be, but it is. Because I you went with a method of keeping the cost down. Such as the ground cover. The ground cover is true New Mexico desert sand gravel mix. Where did I get it from? You got it straight from the desert in New Mexico. Worked out very well. It's very stiff and it's dried and looks super sharp. But with that also came the track. The track is Menards O scale or O gauge, which is fine. It's an absolutely great track. It's sturdy. Sounds good. The roadbed. The roadbed is packing material that a shipper gave me, and they gave me 600 feet of it, so I decided to utilize it. And <coughs> it's worked out actually really good. Um, and it also allows me to be able to lay my, ground, my uh, roadbed down. Now, the roadbed we haven't done yet, but hopefully we'll get to that in the next couple of days. And we'll get back on the O-scale build tank car as soon as I can find it get me a place that has a two and a half inch shipping tube. Oh, whew, excuse me. Anyways, so while I've been working on this and the incline, the incline was really posing a problem. And not so much because I wanted it to cause a problem, but more or less because it, it was actually being a problem. When I measure it with the ruler on one end, and I start gradually making it up, it was being thrown off a little bit. Well, one thing I had to stop and realize is that because I'm doing this in an unconventional method, I have to revert back to some unconventional methods. So what I came up with was for the retaining wall was this. Okay. And I came about getting the gradual retaining wall 
very simply. I got mad after wasting four pieces of material trying to get the grade the way I wanted it, or the retaining wall, which I'll have to excuse the tape, it's still drying back here. This right here is just a, a lip I had to put on, but that's for something else. But after wasting four pieces of material trying to get the grade I was looking for, I got really mad. And I started looking around. I said, okay, I had to stop and think. Unconventional method, this is you can go and conventional, because so far that's working. And I went, I started looking around. I grabbed an Arizona, uh, Arizona one liter tea cap bottle, my favorite little thing to cut up. And I stuck it on the rails on the incline and where it needed to start at. Took some cardboard, cut it, you know, just however, just to get it up there. Stuck a pin to it and went all the way down. Oddly enough, I was able to get the incline that I was actually envisioning by doing that, being pissed off to get the, the rate I was looking at. So, there you have it. That's how I got it. Still not done with this. Um, this will be completely like extra lines going in here where the supports are going to be. Uh, it's going to be painted. I just got to get to a Walmart. Uh, get grab some uh, concrete gray paint uh, and some other colors and paint the rails and do some more groundwork and that will almost complete the first section other than this back portion because I got to make an incline where the uh, phone incline where the mountain goes no big deal uh, other than that we're getting closer and closer to completion to that one and I'm actually, I'm looking forward to it getting completed. I really am. Not because I'm tired of dealing with it. Because that's the first section of probably three, one of three, maybe four sections. So, that's one. And we still got one more long piece to go, which is going to be another uh, six foot. Uh, and then a one by four, which will put the S gauge on with the transition station. And I'm going to scratch build the building to go on and the platform. Uh, what I'm going to use to build the material with, or the building material, I don't know, kind of whatever pops into mind and what's going to be the most unconventional method because that's what seems to be working so far for this piece. As always, if you like what you heard, please hit like and subscribe. Keep the shiny side up. See you on the road.